Coming up on this episode, we ponder a deep, meaningful question. Some people squabble over pointy things. We encounter someone with bad breath. And we do a tiny bit of building. It's episode four of season three of An Author Blocks. I am Draken, and this is the Draken Gameworks. That's your cue. Oh, oh, right, right. Hello, Draken. I have mail to deliver to you. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I Yay. appreciate that. Yes, excellent. Uh, mm -hmm. That's my second piece of mail. Awesome. How's yeah. the postal business going? Going well. The red stone is in. Oh, awesome. We'll have a post office yes. soon. That's brilliant. Uh, yes. let's, let's have a look. What have I got in terms of post? Uh, let's have a look. Dear Mr. Works, as a long-standing fan of your series, yada, 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 you're amazing, blah, blah, blah. Yep, yep, I get it. Oh, I wish to make a complaint again. Uh, your last episode was cool, but it wasn't mega. You've built bigger and more intricate things in the past, and I don't care if you're retiring. As a long-standing fan, I demand you build something much more impressive. Yours sincerely, a fan whose patience is growing thin. P.S. Wool is a terrible material to build balloons out of. It's far too heavy and is highly flammable. Hmm. Hmm. They that is a good point. They want Mega. Fine. I'll make Mega. Now, if I'm going to retire, I want the area that I'm going to be in to be as picturesque as possible. But before tackling a Mega build, there's some steps we need to go through. Step one. Have an idea. Eureka! Step two, prepare the area. And that's what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. In fact, actually, since we began on this server, I have been preparing this whole area, whether it's building the cliff at the bottom or leveling out the top so that I've got a nice smooth area. Obviously, it depends on the build you're making as to how well it's going to work with terrain, whether you want to flatten it out or do something extra with it. But you do need to prepare the area first. Step three, build a staging area. This is very handy. It means you can store all your items and all the bits that you need close to where you're building. Plus, you can also put yourself a crafting station in there just for making it easier to get to and make changes as you're there. And also, a map of the area helps. Step four. Wonder why there's a man in a very large hat wandering past. What the... You're seeing this, right? I mean, I guess it's just another day on the Anorfa Block server. The real step four, gather materials. Yes, we need materials for this, and we have been doing that since we began as well on the server in the previous episodes. You may have noticed we built Boomtree, which is a cobblestone generator. Plus, while I've been down beneath finding diamonds, I've been digging out a lot of deep slate, and also gained a load of deep slate when I dug out the spider spawners. Both of these materials are going to come very in handy for what's coming up next. Step five. Begin. It is so demoralizing. I have just realized that I have built this wall one block out. There is three blocks here between the archway pillars, and there should only be two blocks. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Um, let's take a break while I figure out how to get this fixed.
Have you mucked up your build? Have you built something out of place and finding it hard to find the motivation to get it fixed? Then do not fear, for on this server we have the Mermaid Movers. These three plucky dames will sweep to the rescue, finding your wall and recreating it brick by brick in the right location. That's another job well done. Thank you, Mermaid Movers. Oh, whoa, whoa, you... Dragon, dragon. Hi, hi. Please yes. give me some warning before you scare oh, no. someone he's up at heights. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? You all right? Yeah. Doing good. Yeah. We have a question. Go for it. Bear with me while I'm just building here as well. What's up? How do you make friends on this server? There are friends on this server? Yes. How do you make friends? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I think you build things for people. You make things for people. You... Build things with people and make things with people. Yep. That I... sounds like a good good way to go. I provide goods mm -hmm. to people uh -huh. and all that sort of stuff. And mm -hmm. Not scare them uh, off we've heights. We've also heard that <laughs> if you honk at people, you make friends. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's a valid thing. Who told you that one? Jam. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't honk at people. Okay. I, I would just construct, build, do stuff. Like this. Yeah. All right. Second question. <laughs> would you be our friend? Uh, you brought me post, and mermaids helped me move a wall. So yeah, sure. Sweet. We nice. have a friend. We have another friend. You have another friend. Yay. It sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> How many We're friends? Collecting a lot of friends. <laughs> yes. We're not Pokemon. Adding to the collection. Love it. <laughs> Got to befriend them all. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> no worries. You guys have a good day. If you ever want to yeah, build you something too. together like friends, I'm here. I'm around. Well, yeah, same, I've same. Got, I've got, got this. Wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can help if you, uh, if you want us to. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a schematic or design. <laughs> Oh, uh, that might yeah, be. It'd be a lot harder. It'd be a lot harder. Yeah. But yeah, anytime. All Give right. us a shout. Let us know. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Cool. All right. Yeah. See you later. Thank you. See you later. See Bye. Ya. Bye. what I just found hopping around here. There's no swamps anywhere near spawn. These can't have just naturally occurred around here. And I think I bet I know where they've come from. Oh, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Sunny. I know you've got a pond around here somewhere. Where are you? 
I can hear you. Oh. Ah, there you are. Ah. Aha, neighbor. Neighbor, right. <laughs> there you are. There. Right. <laughs> if I can actually get through to you. Oh, yeah, right I'm still uh, kind of cleaning up over here. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's a mess. I hear frogs. It's a mess. You're an oh! introvert. Yeah, I got a bone to pick with you. These things were munching up and tearing up the landscape by my cathedral. I didn't have all the, the child safety locks on. Ah. Oh, I've fallen. <laughs> 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 well, you know, the safety barriers. <laughs> yeah. Might help there as well. But, you know, you, 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 like, yeah, I, I got these guys. I brought them back for you. Uh, they went all the way to your place? They went all the way over to the cathedral. My little travelers. Yeah, they um, they've been on an adventure, it seems. But oh god! Uh, <laughs> I know we're about to get that. <laughs> okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's all right. So do you. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. <laughs> oh, now they're attacking me. Yeah, please sleep. Got one. Oh my gosh. Can you stop? You're so loud. <laughs> There's still one around. Where? I can hear him. Oh, he stopped me. Okay. Uh, ah, anyway. What were we saying? <laughs> Before we were well, rudely interrupted. Right, right. Well, listen. <laughs> listen, listen. I know there's leash laws around here and whatnot. Uh, if we could just... Uh, listen, you like frog lights? Yeah. I do like frog yeah. lights. You do like frog lights? So, well, listen. Uh, I, I got a frog light situation happening. Um, maybe we can just forget that the escapees ever happened, you know? We'll just uh look, 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 look. We'll get we'll get them in the containment facility. It's fine. Come on, guys. If they want to follow. Like, I'm holding oh, hang on. One of my picks already broken his lead. <laughs> Probably. Come on. And then uh then uh we'll just uh forget we'll, we'll ever forget that again. ever happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah, I could yeah. deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. When we get the frog lights out, you just. You, you just take a, a, a few what you need. There's three frogs here. So, uh... <laughs> Alright, you should be able to let him go, and then I'll just put the glass in place. Yeah, well, if he lets me... He won't let me... He won't let me back. He, he wants to stay. Grass, there. There we go. Got him dead. There we are. Guys, you can't keep the leads. No, wait. My leads. Are you holding glass for chance? I am. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Okay. <laughs> All right, they are safe in their containment facility once again. Amazing. Thank you very much. I'll uh, I'll keep yes, those off there, and yeah, we'll keep this between us. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep yeah, this yeah. between us. Yeah. And also the um, <laughs> unlicensed cocoa bean. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't see that. Tell them it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. This is tiring work building all of this. So after all of this, I think we're going to need to take another break. But before we do, don't forget, I'm going to ask you the same thing that I ask every time. Can you just remember to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already? And if you have already, thank you very much. And don't forget to check out the other members. They're all linked in the description below. Do you have need for large amounts of iron? Whether it be cauldrons, or anvils, or shears, or minecarts, or just plain iron blocks, we have you covered here at Oh The Irony. At Oh The Irony, we can guarantee we have the lowest prices you'll ever find on iron anywhere. 
and so confident are we that the prices are the lowest, we will give you a money back guarantee. You can find it cheaper elsewhere, we will refund you the diamonds you spent on the iron in this store. Oh, the irony. Ironing out all of your iron needs. current buildability status of this area here. I don't know anything that's gonna be built there. The excess of arrows has me a bit concerned. Good to know. I worry there aren't enough arrows in the picture though. I can't tell where this area is. Maybe a few more arrows would be necessary. More obvious yet? To answer your question, you are. As far as I'm aware, no one is building there. You should be fine, but the arrows are good. Always more arrows. Okie dokie then. I would put just one more arrow right here. I have to move so carefully and quietly here. As you can see, just above me is Jam. And he could spot us at any moment here. He's building his hat, what he wanted to build in that area that you heard me do some impressions for a short while ago. But I'm having to carefully sort of do a prank while he's building as well. I thought, well, as he needed arrows and more arrows, let's, well, let's add into the real world those arrows as well. There we are, the last blocks are in place. I don't think he's seen us or heard us yet, which I'm really surprised about, but I suppose because as he's building, he's probably not hearing me placing these blocks down here. But let's put the sign here. And just in case anyone isn't aware of who's building that above. Well, with all of the building that has been going on over at the cathedral, I think it was about time that we took a little bit of a break to have a bit of fun. And thankfully, that fun comes in the shape, firstly, of the Unorfer Tower, which has now been completed. Or well, the second Unorfer Tower, because the first one was in the last season. We've completed the second tower now. Everyone's added their elements to it. So let's go and check out the steeplechase. Ready, <laughs> set, a go! Oh, God. <laughs> 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 no, no! Who's in the lead at the moment? Kaz is in the lead. Oh no, actually Travis is. I don't even know where I am. No, <laughs> Lily is. Lily's at the top. Right, Lily's onto the very first proper challenge after all the ladders. <laughs> the parkour level from Plasma. You are welcome to knock people off here. Yep, like that. No, please don't. Yep. <laughs> oh, Plasma failed. Uh, Bex failed. You will be greatly frowned upon. Amelia's uh, in the lead. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think Amelia might be up. No, and she missed it in the end. Currently, Plasma's in the lead. And yet, he's done it. Plasma's through. One person through. Uh, plasma is into the <laughs> Iron Maze. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. How do I get up? How do I get up? Okay. Right, so That's you're in the Iron up. Maze. Uh, now he has to find his way through a maze. You're saying you can't fly and glow like this? Just Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. There's, there's a reason you can't do that. 
And Plaza is still in the lead of ladder. He's on to the second level of the Iron Maze. <laughs> the entire time. And Plaza's up into Lily's area. And he's ah. taking the cheeky way up. Watching. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? And he's on oh, to the Never level. I can't remember who's that level that was. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Mine as well. I mean, the most cheated way through my level is to shift crouch through the invisible maze because at least oh, no. the way Plasma took was in 10 years. Ah. Uh, Plasma is now up to the dino level. No. Uh, how's everyone else doing? Has anyone Stop actually it. else made it past the parkour? <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> You're all stuck I think Plasma's gonna win this by I'm, miles. I'm in a maze. I'm in a maze. <laughs> yeah, I swear. I made a tactical advantage in that I know my own parkour. <laughs> Excuse me! Right, Plasma is up in the swim level. And. I think this is Jay's level. Into the kitchen. Ah, uh, 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 Can someone sleep? Uh, uh, I okay. don't think anybody can. Oh. Yeah. Done. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Plasma yeah. is yeah. up. Plasma is miles ahead. He is on <laughs> Amelia's <laughs> level. He's on to the final level. Okay. Good work it is. Next gets across the jump that uh, Rogue and Kazo are at. Just progress through the rest of this so that they're out. <laughs> No. As nah. menace. Plasma's just no, got to no, find the button. To Stop get by knocking it. me off, Omelette. <laughs> Sorry. And <laughs> that's it. Okay. Plasma's won. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know Dragon's going to well be keep going, though. After the steeplechase was completed, we all decided to go finally end raiding and take on the end dragon. And when we got there, we decided to have a bit of a party first. Itchin's birthday was uh, on the same day, so we threw a party in the end, ignoring the dragon for a bit, which the dragon got a bit upset about and started destroying its own obsidian pillars, which was rather bizarre and odd. But we quickly and dealt with it in a very quick manner because there was loads of us there. Uh, and then we went raiding throughout the rest of the end. Myself and Sunny and Omelette all joined up as a team. We went and got ourselves some elytra and shulkers, both of which are really handy. But because there was loads of us in the end, we realized we needed to unlock some more portals. So me, Sunny and Omelette decided we were going to tackle the end dragon a second time. However, things went a bit odd. I think my copy of Minecraft has got mixed up with another game somewhere on my hard drive. Take a look. Okay, yep. are we ready? Do the honors? No, you can do it. That's cool. Yeah, you can do it. Well. Let's begin that Should fight. Just, Let's we'll see what happens. Let's watch what happens with it. this. Yeah. Let's watch what happens with towers. That's back.
high carrier reporting ready for duty direct. Aha, now I have an elytra and I have shulker boxes. It means that I can work so much faster on finishing this build off. At this stage in the build, I realized I needed a large number of bone blocks. And thankfully, I had found a skeleton spawner deep beneath where we were building the catacombs. So for a little secret door and down some passageways, you can now find a skeleton farm tucked away. This isn't an XP skeleton farm, it is just an automated AFK skeleton farm for building up bone blocks. But this is going to prove very handy for the next bit. And here is our cathedral, fully completed, or at least the exterior. We haven't done the interior. I thought that was a bit much for one episode to get both the exterior and the interior done in one go, but I'm very happy with the level of detail that we have managed to include on this cathedral as it overlooks the spawn valley down below. But some of you may be looking at this and thinking, Draken, this looks a bit familiar, especially if you've been a long time viewer back in the days when I had less than 100 subscribers on this channel. Well, you would be right. As I said, I'm not going to get into the interiors at the moment, though I have actually started on the interior in the balloon. You can just see it here. But we'll talk about that more in the next episode. Let's not cover it in this episode. But I do need to access my portal here to be able to show you what I'm on about. Now, I, I vaguely remember how to do portal technology again. I've played around with a bit and I think I've got it all perfected so we should be able to jump and switch between worlds if I just do a little bit of configuration here ah yes perfect it got me out into the right location right then ladies and gentlemen let me introduce you to something that was before an awful blocks even existed this is Fort Draken 
This was on a little multiplayer server that I was involved with before I joined the Unorthor blocks. And you may notice, as well as all these various ships and everything else and stuff and architecture that was inspirations for the Dragon Spire in Season 1, sitting right there in the centre, towering over the whole lot, is a very familiar design of the cathedral. That's right, it is the same cathedral. But the one thing I always regretted was I never finished this cathedral. Now, I built this before I'd even learned how to use Elytra, and I love this cathedral. I always adored it, but I never got to finish it. I never did the interior. And since then, there's been new blocks introduced, and I've also learned some new building techniques. So I wanted to go back and revisit this build. So I've recreated it block for block, but also updated the cathedral design at the same time. If we do a side-by-side -side fly around comparison between the old cathedral at Fort Draken and the new one we've built on an Alpha Blocks, you can see that there are differences between the two cathedrals. In fact, the one on Alpha Blocks is actually probably more complete than the one I built back at Fort Draken. But we've also updated the way the roof is designed, so we're using deep slate for the roof rather than never brick like I used previously. And also, I put a lot of spawn proofing techniques into it as well, so things won't spawn on there because the old one, well, that became a bit of a mob farm basically so we've done that but we've also put in a lot of broken bricks and mossy bricks into the new design so the new design is far superior than the one which we had done previously i am looking forward to getting the interior done on this because this is something i always regretted that i never finished and i'm using this opportunity now it's nice and picturesque it suits our theme of retiring just sitting there on the cliff and yeah it's going to be great Sadly, that brings us to the end of the episode, but we have done so much. Obviously, we still got the interior to do on the cathedral itself, but it is looking great on its outside. I'm really chuffed with this build. Plus, we got a load of other stuff accomplished. In the meantime, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Sorry, dude. <laughs>